see, I have not read you a book for a while. And I found this book. I heard about it on the news. And I thought it would be a good one to read. When I See You Again by Gina J. Lewis. And she is a mom who's staying home with her children now because of the virus. And she's been trying to explain to them what they need to do. And so she decided to write this book. And I think it's a pretty good book. I read it already. So here this fellow looking out the window. <gasps> Everything is different now. There's no more school. Mommy and Daddy are always home, and we don't leave the house very much. Everyone looks different now, too, don't they? I've never seen so many people with their face covered. faces covered. It can be kind of scary sometimes. Do you think that? I do think sometimes. <gasps> I miss the, very, the way things were. I miss my friends and I miss my teachers. And he probably miss branches and Silas probably misses his little morning, his day out. Everything is different now, but some things are a good difference. There is no more school. But now I get to do crafts at home and learn things with my family. Oh, and look what they're doing. Camping. I think both the Ewings and the Novacells have camped in the past few months. Since everyone is home now, we get more cuddle breaks. We also can do more fun things like camping out in the backyard on a Tuesday night. We don't leave the house very much, but when we do, it's for fun walks in the park. Or why else would they leave the house? People are starting to leave the house. Or we stay home and get our favorite meals delivered. Sometimes they watch TV. Everything look, Everyone looks different right now, but it's fun to see all the different colors and designs of all the masks. Everybody gets to show their unique personalities through their mask choices. There are some pretty funny ones, aren't they? I still miss the things, the way things were sometimes. I miss being able to play outside with my friends. I know you all miss that. I miss seeing my teachers and my grandmother and my grandparents and my cousins and my uncles. There seems to be a lot of new rules. Ooh, I'm gonna have to put my um, glasses on for this. Rule number one, keep distant. Rule number two, keep hands clean. That's always been a good rule. Rule number three, wear a mask. That is a new rule, but it's good. Rule number five, not four, rule number four, hug, hug your grown-ups. They may be scared a little bit too. That sounds like a good idea. If and when you can hug your grown-ups, it says. That's right. You can hug your parents. But I am so glad I have this time to try new things with my family. I'm glad there's more time to play. I'm not sure that the Nova Cells or the Ewings have really noticed that much difference. And I am glad there's so much more time to rest. I hope everyone is resting a lot. I'm not sure that's really true. I am grateful for many new adventures, and I can't wait to tell you all about them when I see you again. And... Things may be different, but God is still in control, and we'll get through this, and we'll be able to do other fun things in the future. So I hope everybody's had a good day or good night, and I love you very much, and Jesus loves you. Bye.